technology has already changed the landscape of how music is created, shared, and heard. Now, with the development of artificial intelligence, music is on the verge of another revolution. AI is being used to create new music styles, revolutionize composition techniques, and provide a more immersive experience for listeners. Welcome to Into the Musiverse, where we dive deep into the ever-changing landscape of music. Let's dive in and explore how AI will change music forever. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. The history of AI in music stretches back a few decades. The 1950s saw the advent of algorithmic music generation and the first attempts at computer-generated music. The Iliac Suite for String Quartet, the first piece entirely written by AI, was published in 1957. The Iliac Suite was created by American musician Lejaren Hiller and mathematician Leonard Isaacson using mathematical models and algorithms. In the decades leading up to the modern era of music, generative modeling took center stage as opposed to more straightforward computational generation. Otto Lasky, a prominent researcher in the field of sonology, described this change as the difference between a musical robot and musical intelligence. The musical robot is more reminiscent to the early efforts from the 1950s and 60s. It can recognize patterns, has a musical language, and has a broad understanding of problem solving. But it accomplishes its objectives using pretty direct techniques. On the other hand, Musical intelligence substitutes a knowledge-based understanding system with its own comprehension of how musical elements may operate. Experiments in Music Intelligence, a project by composer and music professor David Cope, published in 1996, was a key proponent of the idea that computer composition may lead to a greater comprehension of music. His compositions were based on the concept of recombinancy, in which components from earlier works are mixed and changed to produce new musical compositions. Many of the AI models today have their roots in Cope's work. First, music and its attributes are encoded into databases. Then the collection of the recombinant segments is extracted using certain identifiers and pattern matching systems. From there, musical segments are categorized and reconstructed in a logical, musical order, such as Emmy Vivaldi, a composition created by Cope's EMI program. While the results can be impressive, many argue that music generated by AI lacks the human emotion and creativity that is present in music created by a human artist. AI is also being used to help compose original pieces faster than ever before. For example, Google Magenta developed a machine learning program called Performance RNN, which can generate a completely unique 4-minute piano piece in just 7 seconds. While this technology still produces melodies that sound like they were written by a computer, which is not surprising since they were, it could be used as a starting point for human composers to build upon or add more complex layers of instrumentation to make the song sound even more lifelike. In 2016, Sony researchers used AI to write a Beatles-style song called Daddy's Car. French composer Benoit Carré gave the piece a human character. In late 2017, Taryn Southern lent her voice to Amper, an AI music composition company. Amper built a synthesized model version of her voice, using hours of pre-recorded audio of her voice. They used her voice to release her debut album, I Am AI. The album was created almost entirely by AI. This form of music generation could also raise some ethical questions, such as authorship, copyright, and ownership of the musical work. You will own nothing, and you will be happy. I think those words require some reflection. There are quite a few AI-powered software programs available today that use machine learning to analyze audio data and make suggestions for things like adjusting the levels of different instruments in a mix, or identifying and removing unwanted noise. These programs can save producers and engineers a significant amount of time and effort, and can also reveal patterns in audio data that might be difficult for a human to hear. Songmaster is one of these programs. It allows you to automatically master any song to a reference track. For example, after uploading your own song, you can upload a song by Kendrick Lamar as a reference track, and Songmaster will master your song in the same style as Lamar's. 
The algorithm masters your track with the same RMS, FR, peak amplitude and stereo width as the reference song you chose. However, there are also limitations to using AI in production. The use of AI-powered tools could result in a homogenization of sound, where everything begins to sound the same because AI is only working off data it is trained on. Additionally, certain aspects of the music production process rely on human intuition and taste that AI, for the moment, cannot replicate. Another way that AI is changing music is through personalized listening experiences. Companies like Spotify are already using machine learning algorithms to curate custom playlists tailored to each user's individual tastes and preferences. However, this personalized approach also has its drawbacks. One of the biggest concerns is that these algorithmically generated recommendations can create a sort of echo chamber where listeners are only exposed to music that is similar to what they've listened to before, limiting their exposure to diverse and new sounds. Additionally, there are ethical concerns on how these platforms use our listening data, which could potentially be used to manipulate our preferences and even our purchasing behavior. From creating completely new compositions from scratch to providing personalized listening experiences, AI is revolutionizing how we experience our favorite tunes today, and it's paving the way for even greater changes in the future. Whether you're a casual listener or an avid composer, get ready, because AI is going to change music forever. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Turn on the notification bell to not miss any other music videos that I post in the future.